Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back, Elwood here from Not So Serious Gaming, jumping back in for another Easter egg guide, this time for Minecraft version 1.2, so you guys and girls can stop losing your head! Let's get to this then. So you start off in this dark and dingy castle here, and the only way to escape is to purchase this door for 2,500. Brings you out into this bright and lovely courtyard where you can get the box. As far as I'm aware, it always spawns there. However, you can't get it until you get your first stick and your first cobble. So to find the first stick, you come out the castle, turn left, turn left again, go down the passageway and it's just on the left hand side next to double tap. Now you have the stick, you need 1500 points so you can purchase the door to enter the underground passage to collect the first cobble here on the left hand side. If you're like me and you're very impatient and you like to save time, I'd strongly recommend mining the red stone blocks and the diamond blocks down here as you'll need them for the easter egg later on. Once you've collected everything from the courtyard, it's time to craft the lever. Once you've activated this, you can then get across to the box and also the first wonder weapon part and widow twine. I will show you how to make the wonder waffle later on in the video, but for now, I'd strongly recommend getting some crawlers so you can open up the door here as you're just about to encounter the lava of death! Once you've mastered the lava of death, you want to take the right pathway, what leads to the tower block at the end here, go round to the left hand side, and then you'll find more red stones and diamond blocks. Once you've mined all the blocks here, it's time to collect the last cobblestone. Before heading back over the lava of death, come inside the tower block and fix the elevator. You don't really need to do it, but it is quite handy if you want to get away from a horde or two, and even if you're just feeling too lazy to walk. Talking about walking, we now will have to head up the staircase. Upon reaching the peak of the tower, you will notice a switch on the far hand side. This will cost 2,250 points. This will open up the third area where you can collect the last piece for the power and the other gemstones. The first piece of power is just here on the left hand side. Woo! Once again, it's time to face the dreaded lava of death. This time, you want to carry on round to the right hand side and jump over to this passageway here. This is the gate you just opened and you want to now continue over the water on the little boat, costing 250 points. Finally, it's time to collect the second stick. This is located to the right hand side of this archway. It took me FOREVER to find this, like FOREVER. As you can see, I've just collected it now though, woo! Spin around and grab the power board. Now you're ready to set up power. Before doing this, don't forget to grab the last gemstones around here. As you can see, there's one outside and the rest are just inside this underground bunker on the left hand side and there's diamond blocks behind you on the right. Finally, we're ready to set up power. To do this, return to the starting area and craft the lever on the box here. Simply activate it and walk over the bridge and then build the power on the block in front of you there. On the left hand side, there'll be the remaining diamonds you need for the rest of the easter egg. Now it's time to return to the third area and collect your blocks. Approach the summoning block and hold your action button on it. Doing this will summon two blocks. The first one will be a diamond block which you place on the shrine here. The second one will be the redstone block that you place on the other shrine location. You will now need to collect souls here as seen in the top right hand corner. I'm not sure how many souls you will need but it can take quite a few rounds to do this. But you will be rewarded with Perkaholic. Yeah boy! As you can see, I had the Wonder Warfall and Juggernaut before finishing this step. You can do these steps in any order, as long as you collect the diamonds and the redstones before you approach the summoning block. I will now show you how to get Juggernaut, Pack-a-Punch and how to get the Wonder Weapon. Come back over to Area 3, purchase the door for this little hut, go through to the other side, activate this switch and then you'll be able to access the blue castle over there. Once you've got over here, you want to run through the purple area to activate Pack-a-Punch. You need to first light four candles. The first one is located here. Follow through under the archway until you come to this opening. You'll then see an entrance underground. Go down the stairwell and you'll find the second torch. There is also a wonder weapon piece here, but we'll leave that till later. Now you want to come back up the stairwell here and activate the third torch. You then want to follow across the center ritual site I guess you can call it and then you'll head to the torch over there on the right hand side. Once you've activated the fourth one you're then ready to ascend. Come back over to the centre of the ritual site where the torch is and hold your action button on it. This will let you ascend. Ascending brings you to the pack-a-punch and where Juggernaut is. 
Now it's time to show you the three locations for the Wonder Weapon parts and where to build it. The first location is in the courtyard, just opposite from where the box starts to the left hand side of Widow's Wine. Then you want to make your way to the second torch location and it's just on the right hand side there before you ignite it. Then you want to go back to where spawn is, go all the way up the top and it's just on the top of this tower here. You're almost done. Now head back to the ritual site and build your wonder waffle. If you liked this and found it helpful, please stab that like button, comment down below and subscribe for more future content. Peace!